Hi, this is Mighty Faith. How are you doing? Thank you for coming with me on my journey. Uh, thank you. Um, I am not an advisor. I'm not a uh, counselor. You're coming with me on my journey, and I want to thank you. Um, it's been over four years for me with the VSG, and I have been doing great. I want to do some updates. Um, a lot of times people say, can you eat this or can you do that? Yes, you can. But you have to recognize, uh, realize your limits. Um, I've been doing really good. Um, I've been really maintaining. Um, since the very beginning, I would um, I would go out to eat. And a lot of people say, don't do that, don't do that. But you're on my journey. I'm sharing what works for me. Um, everyone is different and everyone's experience is different. But it's mind over matter matter it's what i've learned i've learned to use this as a tool and i've learned to you be realistic and when i had this surgery i knew that this was going to help me to better my health and my life and there that being said i i've learned um to follow what the doctors had said the nutritionists you know if they tell you something sometimes you might not be in agreement but it's really because of their study professions and what they do and they study this and this is what they know and so you have to you know so when they told me not to drink carbonated drinks i stopped drinking carbonated drinks um do 30 minutes i do 30 minutes and um your tool and your and what you're dealing with it's like you're realizing that it's a tool and you, you have to learn how to know that um, when you're full, it's like you have to push the plate back. And so that's what I've started learning. I started learning that um, I can't eat um, greasy foods a lot. I get sick or um, if I overeat, I'll throw up or get sick. Um, so you have to learn your limits as well as your boundaries. And so you can't eat uh, when you're upset or emotional or you got to eat protein and so um, or vegetables and fruits and whatnot. And remember, you can't get so caught up in the do's and the don'ts. So um, I um, would go out to eat a lot, but I learned what I can and cannot do. So, uh, it's been a while and I've maintained, um, uh, I have a friend, someone that's been there 10 years longer than me and, um, has been very successful, but you have to learn what works for you. If you don't master that, then you'll be all over the place. So, um, do I eat a burger? You better believe I do. Um, but what I'll do is, okay, so it's really a mind thing and people don't realize it, but it is. So back in the day, I grew up with burgers. I grew up with a lot of stuff, fries and all that. So I will get a burger, take a bite, one bite with everything in there. And once I bite it, I'm like, okay, I took a bite of a burger. This is how I do it. This is the, this is what I do. And then once I do that, I remove the buns. And I eat the meat. So it's like, I just do stuff like that. It's like, so it's like, um, do I deprive myself? Absolutely not. I've never deprived. If I want a piece of little chocolate, I'll get a good particular chocolate. It's self-control, ha learning your boundaries, having self-control. And it's like, okay, so let's do this. So I went somewhere and the food was fabulous. Ugh, went out to eat. I went out to eat with my husband and it was so good. So what I did, I knew that it was tasty good. I was singing. Uh, when I put it in, I, I ate it, I was eating and that food was off. It was so good. 
But I re I said, wow, this is so delicious. But I enjoyed it for that one moment. And then I had to, I said, okay, I'm done. So you have to learn self-control. When you have anything in your life, we got to learn self-control. But me having the VSG has taught me self-control. That I don't need to sit there and, you know, finish a whole plate. I have to control. I'm in control. Not the plate. Not the food. I'm in control. And so when I sit there and I see everybody just eating their food and everything, I don't get overwhelmed. I know I stay in my lane and I learn that what works for me works for me. Everyone is different. And so I know for me, I said, I know it's impossible that I'm going to eat all of this food. So I have a system with my husband. My husband knows that I got a VSG done. So my husband is, um, and my family, my friends, they all know that I had a VSG. I tell everybody, okay? But what I do is everybody knows that I had a VSG done. And so with my husband, we order together. And we split, we just, whatever, we split, we share. And it's it's so amazing because I'm not left with the fact that I got to finish this whole plate of food. And even at times when we don't share, I push the plate and I ask the waitress, can I get a to-go baggy, a, a doggy bag to go? That's what I do. When I'm in home, same way. I don't make myself feel, separate myself from anything. I make myself just as part as everybody else. Now, I don't eat and drink at the same time. So when we go in the restaurant, they're like, can I get you something to drink? They always do that, right? But I don't like going and telling them, oh, I had this and I can't eat it. I, I don't do all that. So what I do is, this is what I do. I go and I said, oh, this is, can I get you something to drink? I said, yes, please. Can you get me a cup of ice? Well, number one, a cup of ice takes a long time to melt down, right? <laughs> I do this all the time. So I do stuff like that. It's like, you know, that's just how I operate. Just like, Come on. I've had waitresses to say, you just want, yes, please. And matter of fact, can you give me a couple of lemons and oranges to go with that and some olives? So those are the things I do because it's going to melt and eventually I'm going to drink it. If not, I'm not, you know? So it stops the questioning and it stops, I don't have to explain, but because I'm so used to going out to eat, I, I found the little tricks of the trades. <laughs> and then... This is a big meal, so I'm going to split it with my husband. They're not going to question that. You know what I mean? It's like, so I've learned, even with my friends, everybody, I always get a little plate. Can I get a little plate? And we share it. That's so that I don't have to overeat or anything. But do I eat a burger? Yeah, I eat a burger. Do I, can I finish it? No. Uh, so I've learned to... Uh, do what works for me and I don't go being deprived. So I want to encourage you, make this a lifestyle. Make it an everyday lifestyle. Don't be uh, feeling that you're deprived because if you feel that you're deprived, um, then you will be binging or you will overeat. Learn how to get power over the plate. And learn how to say enough and push the plate. So once you get power over the plate, then you can succeed and be victorious and overcome. And that's with anything. That's with even, um, even if you didn't have a surgery, even if you didn't have that, even if you want, but it's mind over matter and it's, it's overcoming the very one thing that feels that it had gained its, its, its ground. You have to learn how to gain the ground. What do you mean by that? 
So maybe a year ago, you used to run three miles and now you don't. Baby step it and start walking it. So don't talk about it. Learn to be about it and you will succeed in and you will be able to overcome and gain the ground which you have lost. So I want to encourage you that you got this and you can do it. You just got to have your mind. You have to make up in your mind. That's exactly what you're going to do. And you have to do it when it's for yourself. So it's like you have to do what works for you. And for me, I don't want to feel like I'm being deprived or I can't have a shrimp or I can't have a little burger or I can't have a fry. I can have a, uh, a candy or a piece of cake. Just self-control. Thank you for coming in my journey. God bless you and be blessed. And um, again, I'm not an advisor. I am not a professional dietitian or a doctor, you're coming with me in my journey. God bless you and be blessed. Ciao.